World leaders are in Glasgow for that historic climate summit, COP26. It's been billed by many as the last best chance to save humanity. What can leaders do to help curb the effects of climate change? We wanted to take a closer look at what's at stake by the numbers. The main goal of the summit is to come to a consensus about ambitious plans to reach net zero emissions by the middle of the century and keep the Paris Climate Agreement goal of global temperatures rising by only one and a half degrees Celsius within reach. Beyond that, that threshold is where the dangers of climate change begin to grow immensely. We're talking about more powerful storms, deadly heat waves, and rising seas. The picture is grim. Right now, the global average temperature is projected to rise 2.7 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. According to the UN, in the last decade, about 4 billion people have been affected by events related to climate change. Sea level rise has doubled from 30 years ago. Over the next few days, leaders from more than 100 nations will speak about their commitments. All eyes are on the world's four biggest emitters, talking about China, the U.S., the EU, and India, who are responsible for a little more than half of the global greenhouse gas, gas output. Today, England's Prime Minister Boris Johnson urged the planet to come together, saying it's one minute to midnight on the doomsday clock. We'll have much more coverage of the summit all week on ABC News Live. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.